We are officially in fall. Like, I don't know about you, but me, I like to start off September. Like, this is like the month of fall. This is the fall season, and fall is actually like my favorite season out of all of the seasons. And I am so excited to share with you guys today my stack of eyeshadows that I recommend for fall. The best fall eyeshadows. I have a stack of five eyeshadow palettes that I picked out that I think are some of the best eyeshadow palettes that you can find for fall if you're eyeballing like an eyeshadow palette and you are looking for something that's perfect for fall. I actually have done videos like this in the past where I have done, you know, fall eyeshadow palette collections, but this year I kind of changed it up a little bit because I wanted you guys to be able to possibly purchase these if you are looking for a fall eyeshadow palette. In past years, I've pulled out things from like my vault of stuff and I'm like, oh, this is a really good eyeshadow palette, but some of those things are actually unavailable anymore. So you can't buy them. They're discontinued. I figured this video would give you a little bit of inspiration if you're if you have these eyeshadow palettes in your collection, but if you're looking for a good eyeshadow palette, you can also still purchase them today. So if you guys are new here, my name is Stacy. I feature unfiltered makeup opinions. I have the unfiltered series definitely go check that out. I also feature very honest reviews. So if you like content like that, definitely consider subscribing, turning on your notifications and hitting the like button. It just tells YouTube that you like this video and others, sh others should be watching me too. These eyeshadow palettes you can still purchase and a lot of them are independently owned makeup brands. I love indie makeup. I love supporting indie makeup. So let's dive into my stack here. The first one, the first one is actually a little mini eyeshadow palette, I was thinking what better way to start fall, especially if you're traveling and I'm thinking like even up until like the holidays, you're traveling during the fall or if you just want something that's really easy on the go, you have it in your makeup bag, but it also offers the color story that fall really reminds me of. And the eyeshadow palette that I picked out just for like travel friendly purposes is the eyeshadow quad creme brulee the creme brulee eyeshadow quad from Sigma Beauty. This features four eyeshadows and it actually has more of a warm leaning color story in it. So you have two mattes, two foils, and Sigma is known for their like almost wet looking eyeshadow formulas when it comes to some of their foil shades. So like this shade in here is really beautiful and it's almost like wet on the eye. And then you also have this shade down here, which is almost like a satin, but it's also a little bit foily as well. But it's more of a warm color story. You can get some really nice neutral looks with this eyeshadow palette, but it's super travel friendly. So you can take this with you on the go. And honestly, it's a beautiful and gorgeous eyeshadow quad. The mattes are blendable. The foils are really, really easy to work with. And it is travel friendly. It's like the perfect little travel size. So if you're looking for something that has more of a like warm color story with like a, actually it has a really good range of colors in it too, because it has lighter colors and it has darker colors, then this eyeshadow palette is definitely perfect for fall. And you can't go wrong with Sigma in general. Sigma just has such an amazing and beautiful eyeshadow formula. It is very blendable, very pigmented, very easy to work with. And even though you only get four shades in this eyeshadow palette, there's so many different looks that you can do with it because there are some one and done shades in here. You can just throw this in the crease and then also use this as a liner. You could just throw this all over the lid or throw this all over the lid use this as a liner and be done and it offers actually quite a bit of eyeshadow looks even though it only comes with four shades. I also have another eyeshadow palette that was included in last year's palettes but I still hold true to this because it is such a good like 14 pan eyeshadow palette and it is also from Sigma Beauty. This is actually the Warm Neutrals eyeshadow palette. It's 14 shades and you actually get a range of like warm browns in here and it transitions over into pinks as well. But when I think of fall, I think of like warm eyeshadows. I think of like uh, a latte eyeshadow, like really, really dark smoky brown eyes when I think of fall makeup. And this eyeshadow palette is literally like it screams to me that because it has that variety of the warmer tones in here. And it also has a variety of like pinks in here as well. So if you want to go a little bit more 
romantic with your eyeshadow look you can do that with like the pinks and you can also go a little bit more of the like espresso you know coffee looking eyeshadows with like the brown smoky eye the beautiful thing about this palette is that it will transition really well into the holidays as well because it has some really beautiful like pink tones in here and it just has a wide range of shades so it has like dark shades it has medium shades and it has some really nice pigmented foil shades in here as well I actually have on my channel from last year, how I got a pumpkin spice eyeshadow look using this palette. So I'll definitely leave that for you guys down in the description box or check the eye, whatever one, but definitely go check out that tutorial because I did do like a pumpkin spice eyeshadow look and it was really, really beautiful. Pumpkin spice inspired eyeshadow look with the Warm Neutrals palette. But again, same beautiful Sigma formula, very wet looking foils. You have really nice satins in here. You have some really blendable mattes and you have a wide range of shades. Like obviously you have like some like lighter tones in here. You have some darker tones in here that you can use at, to smoke out the eye or you can use it as winged liner and you can use it to create a liner look as well. And it's just a beautiful eyeshadow palette. I definitely love this one. Always bring it out during fall and it's one of my favorites, obviously because it's been on the list couple times now. And we have a new one. We have a new eyeshadow palette. But when I saw this and when I reviewed this, I was like, this is a fall eyeshadow palette, even though it came out in the height of summer. And I'm talking about the Makeup Revolution, the Eternal Icon palette. This is a $12 eyeshadow palette. I will leave linked for you guys the full review of this one, plus the other eyeshadow palette that came with it, which was the Iconic palette. But this one actually has more of those like fall tones. It has purples. It has some greens in it. It has some khaki browns. It has a really cool like cream formula as well and it is a really beautiful eyeshadow palette and then it also has these like cream shades up in here too that work really nicely as like liner or as primer but make sure you wear a primer on your lids first because it definitely stains your lids. Okay, we have an independently owned makeup brand and this is from Clarity Cosmetics. It is the Croc palette. I actually did a comparison of it to the Natasha Denona Yucca palette last year and I love this palette. This is actually their like full size version of it with the bigger pan sizes, but they actually have it in more of a the smaller version now. So you can still purchase this one. You just don't get the big pan sizes like what you see in my palette. But this is such a cool slash warm tone palette. It's like very interesting because it offers greens, it offers yellows, and then it also has this really beautiful like multi-chrome in here that shifts from like a green to like yellow to like gold. It's really beautiful. All of Clarity Cosmetics like foil shades are absolutely stunning. I'm actually wearing the Croc palette on my lids today and you guys can see they're like sparkly, it's very metallic, it's very foily. So if you like a formula like that, the Croc palette definitely offers it. But this to me screams fall because of the eyeshadow story and just the way that it is like browns, greens with a pop of yellow in here. And you have quite, a, you have like a balance with this palette. You have a balance of five mattes, a balance of five like foils or like sparkly shades. So like this one's more of like an eyeshadow topper. This one's like a foil, a foil, a foil, a foil. And they are just so stunning on the eye. And then you also have five mattes to play with and you can create some really like grungy looks or you can create some really like smoked out looks. And it is such a beautiful palette for fall. And this is from Clarity Cosmetics. Obviously it comes in a smaller size now, which is awesome because this is huge. And then last but not least, we have a new makeup release. It is from Natasha Denona. It's actually the new golden palette. So this is a warm leaning eyeshadow palette. When I saw this, it definitely reminded me of like Naked Honey or like Not a Box of Chocolates from ColourPop. This is new and you can purchase it. Whereas like some of the other palettes that I just mentioned, you can't really find anymore. You can't really find those palettes anymore, but this is a warm leaning neutral palette and it is gold leaning as well. So you get a lot of like gold tones in here, warmer tones in here, and you get the Natasha Denona cream to powder formulations. You get that wet formulation in there as well. And then the mattes are super pigmented and super blendable and really easy to use on the eyes. When I saw this palette, it definitely reminded me of fall and it did come out right at the end of summer, right as we're going into fall. And she did just release a new palette that also seems to be really perfect for fall. But this is the golden palette, which is like a re-release of the gold palette that she had quite a few years ago and she ended up discontinuing. But Natasha Denona's formulas 
are so good. They are so pigmented. They are so easy to work with. And her cream to powders, they work really, really nicely on the lids as well. And you have just a variety of shades in here with lighter tones. You have a really deep tone. You have really nice like foils and that like almost like wet looking foil formula as well is in this eyeshadow palette, which I can't, I can't get enough of. It's so good. I do really enjoy like the golden palette. Definitely going to be reaching for this one a lot this fall because it is very warm leaning. And again, that's what fall reminds me of. That's what fall makeup reminds me of is like warm eyeshadow looks. So there is my list of five fall eyeshadow palettes that are must haves. My list of five fall eyeshadow palettes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing before you go. And I hope I get to see you in my next video. Bye.